If you need users to connect securely to your website with an HTTPS connection, you need an SSL or TLS certificate. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to create the keys required with OpenSSL for an HTTPS connection in Nginx. So we have our Nginx web server installed and running, and we have OpenSSL installed. So we can proceed to use it. We'll do OpenSSL Gen RSA. So we're going to create an RSA certificate using DES encryption or DES3 encryption. The 3 is very important. And we're going to write the file out to something called myhostname.key. Now I'll just leave it as my hostname in this case for this example. And then you pick the size of your certificate. It has to be at minimum 2048, but you can specify 2048 or 4096. So this is a 2K or 4K signature. I wouldn't go higher than 4096 bit. It's really unnecessary. So this is the maximum you should put for your key. We enter a passphrase and we confirm it. Pick something secure. And now we have a key called myhostname.key. Now we also need to make a signing request. So typically your certificate is signed by a signing authority, a certificate authority or a CA to verify your identity. We're not going to quite go that far in this example, but we still need the certificate signing request that we can sign ourselves. So we're going to create a new request. So req then minus new minus key. We specify our my hostname dot key. And then we output our certificate signing request, which we'll call .csr, so myhostname.csr. So we put in our passphrase for our myhostname.key that we set above. Then we specify our country code, wherever it may be. I'm in Canada, I can put CA, our state or province, the city, the organization name, the organizational unit if required, the common name, so this is our my host name or you know something.com we put here email address you can put in and you can specify a password and a company name optionally okay so this should have created our csr file which we see here my hostname.csr i'm not too concerned about the information here because we're going to self sign it in this video but if you are using a registrar for an SSL certificate or a TLS certificate, now I use and most people use SSL and TLS interchangeably, where at the moment we SSL is somewhat outdated and TLS is the technology we're using now. But if I use them interchangeably like most people, just assume we're using TLS because that's what we're going to tell our server to use because SSL is no longer secure. Okay. That digression aside, let's continue on with creating our keys required for Nginx. Okay, now the key file that I have is protected by a password. If we're going to use this in Nginx, every time the server starts or restarts, we need to specify the password for our key. Now we don't want to do that, so we're going to remove the password. So I'm going to make a copy of my hostname.key and I'm going to call this version my hostname.key.pw for password. So the password version is going to have a .pw extension after it. And then we can do open SSL RSA because that's the type of key. The input is my hostname.key.pw and the output is my hostname.key which will overwrite the previous one with this password versionless one. But to do so we need to enter the password and now it writes the key, this new key file, my hostname.key, now does not require a password. Okay, once we get to this point, we typically take this my hostname.key or the contents of it, which I can output, my hostname.csr. We could either upload or cut and paste this content to a certificate authority to sign it for us, which would give us a valid signed and authenticated key. In this video, we're not going to do that. We're going to do what the certificate authority would do for us, which is sign it. So we need to sign it using something called an X509 certificate or envelope. So this is a type of uh, 
certificate we're creating in X509. We're going to make, we're going to do a request in is the certificate signing request. And it's signed with my hostname.key, our private key. And we're going to output my hostname.crt for certificate. So this is the final certificate that we need. And I typed in something wrong here, open SSL, X509, req in my hostname.csr, hyphen signings, hyphen out.crt. So I typed in something wrong here. Let me go up and see what I typed in. My X509 requires sign key, not signing. Sorry for that. Sign key. There we go. So OpenSSL X509 is the type of certificate. Our request is coming in from my hostname.csr. We're signing it with my hostname.key and we're outputting my hostname.crt. So that should give us a key file and a CRT file, which we can use in Nginx. Now I like the recommendation to store the SSL certificates under the Nginx configuration directory. So we'll do sudo make dir at nginx ssl to store the certificates so they're not mixed up with the general certificates on our system so make password so sudo password so we've made the, the directory and now we can copy sudo copy my hostname.crt to at nginx ssl and we also want to copy my hostname.key now we can edit the configuration in Nginx. So sudo vim at Nginx sites available, and we're gonna edit the default configuration. And we're going to go down in this default configuration all the way to the end right here for the HTTPS server. And we're going to uncomment this whole section here oh, without breaking it. Server, let's put that back where it was. So we want SSL on. So SSL certificate, in this case, it's specifying cert.pem. We want to go at nginx, we'll specify the full path, SSL, my hostname.crt. So uh, often here, this SSL certificate will either be a CRT file or a PEM file. And then our key file, at nginx, SSL, my hostname.key and we can go through allow these protocols now at the moment uh, it's recommended to remove the SSL v3 protocol because it's insecure and just use the TLS v1 v1.1 and v1.2 and we want to make sure we don't use certificates with MD5 so it's giving us uh, making some restrictions not to use insecure certificates or allow insecure signing and we'll uncomment this. So this will, oh, we need to change our root location. Our web server in this case is at var www default. And it's going to serve the HTML file out of that location. Now we can add other things to this like PHP, but in this demo, we'll just leave the HTML file served through. So if we put in HTTPS localhost it will serve the index.html. So let's write this and quit and restart Nginx. So sudo service Nginx restart. And it performs okay, so we know our settings were correct. Now I'm just going to output the HTML file default index.html so we can see. So the file it should serve over HTTPS is hello world. Now we'll open up our Firefox web browser. Do https colon slash slash localhost. Now it says this connection is untrusted because we self signed the certificates. Now if we had a certificate authority do it and Firefox had that certificate authorities uh, root certificate uh, already installed, then it wouldn't show this to us but I understand the risk. I'll add ex an exception for the certificate we created. We'll confirm the security exception 
and it serves Hello World. And that's all there is to it. And that'll conclude this demonstration of installing an SSL or TLS certificate in Nginx.